Ansible Collection Role Testing with Molecule When developing Ansible role within a collection, it's crucial to ensure that your code functions as expected and integrates seamlessly with a broader infrastructure. Molecule, a testing framework for Ansible role, allows developers to automate their testing process, making it easier to catch issues early in the development cycle. In this guide, we will explore how to test an Ansible role within a collection using Molecule, with a focus on the Converge option. So, first of all, we need a role. As you can see in my VS Code, Visual Studio Code, I don't have any role in this collection. This is just a very basic full bar collection and uh, here I'm looking on uh, the Explorer, I don't see any role. So we need to jump uh, to the terminal and create a role. Welcome to my terminal. So first of all, we need to move uh, inside the collection that we are developing. So let me change the path to dash Ansible collection, Ansible collections uh, and the name of my collection. In my case, full bar. Okay, this is a full path in my uh, in my laptop. It could be different uh, on your case. As you can see, this is exactly the path that we were seeing in Visual Studio. So you can do the same stuff using the terminal in Visual Studio, but I rather prefer the terminal because uh, it gives me more uh, um, more power. Okay, I created a directory named role and let me enter on it. Cool. Now I'm using the... I need to create a new role. To create a new role we use the command called Ansible Galaxy role init and here you specify the name of the role. In my case my underscore role. In the blink of an eye a new directory tree is following inside this, uh, this role. As you can see, there is my role, all the files that are dependent. The most important one is the one under task because uh, that main file is actually executing all the, all the tasks. Think about a role like a playbook, but all the parts are expanded in different directories. So the handlers, the var uh, in the handlers directory, we have all the handlers. In the variable are between vars and defaults, because in the defaults uh, you can set the default value of the variable, and on the var you can set up the variable that you are using everywhere. So more or less, these are the most important area. On the templates, you set the Jinja template that you would like to use, and on files, some file that might be useful. The meta directory serve as uh, some uh, additional information about the role. But now let's return to the Visual Studio Code. Now back in my editor Visual Studio Code, as you can see in the sidebar we have all the new role directory and the under the task directory I have a main YML file. So now let's create something just something uh, just one task to for my role. The easiest, the easiest way to define this task is just a simple debug task that print a message on the screen. So let's name accordingly task running inside the role and let's use ansible.builtin debug module to print a message on the screen. So this message will be printed every time our role is actually in used. So this is a simple way and also is a, just a debugging one so we can verify that uh, the code in our role is actually executed. This is just a proof of concept. The, obviously in a real scenario the task list will be more long and it includes a lot of different uh, way of programming. But this is just for the education purpose. So this is a task from my role will be the message printed on the screen. Now we are ready to initialize our molecule. I already created all the molecule hierarchy under my extension directory. As you can see, there is a default scenarios and molecule YML um, YAML file. So in this file, we are gonna add some parameter for provisioner 
and specifically we are going to use Ansible as a provisioner for all the instances and uh, this is very useful because we can define uh, the default value or some options in my case let me uh, customize the configuration option and uh, let me specifically customize the default value of a collection path the collection path is the variable that control the directory where our collection will be executed. It's very important that uh, we can specify one environmental variable and set our own collection path just in case we are not using the default one from Ansible. So let me add Ansible underscore collection underscore path. So this will be the environmental variable that is going to define our um, uh, the path in, in our file system. Okay, uh, this is very controversial because in the previous version of Ansible uh, he used uh, the plural version of collections whereas in the future it will be only the singular so pay attention on this. Now it's time to rock and roll. So to define actually the test that we would like to execute for testing our Ansible role. So let me jump directly to the converge YML and let me adjust for our specific uh, use case testing the Ansible role. So let me uh, modify the converge YML name with include role from the collection. On the host I'm gonna specify localhost and on the task name let me directly use a testing role. The uh, Ansible module that I would like to use is not Ansible, the, uh, it's not the debug one, but include the role. This uh, specific module is designed for testing the role and we can include in the current uh, um, playbook the code of a, of a role. So let me specify foo.bar, the name of the collection, and my role, the role. And the task that we would like to acquire is from uh, the main YML file. Cool. So now we have everything. We have our code in our role inside the Ansible collection and in the same collection we have also Molecule, the testing platform for testing our role. Now we are ready for rock and roll. Let's move it on on the terminal and execute this test. Welcome back on my terminal. So let me re-enter in the Ansible collection. In my case is under dot Ansible collections Ansible underscore collection foobar. Uh, let me enter in the subdirectory extension where I'm going to execute my molecule converge test. As you can see the execution is very fast and we get on the screen the message this is a task from my role. Yes, so it executes my role and as you can see all the converge playbook is the one that we define. So let me uh, uh, summarize the Converge testing suite is invoking our role and it will be executed during our test. Now we are ready to execute as many tests as we want to test our code. For example, we can run the molecule uh, test to invoke all the test suite and run also the and all the other tests, for example, the side effect, the hidden potency, and all the other one. So we created all the testing scenario for my Ansible role. Now, the Ansible role was very simple, just one message on the screen, but you can understand the efficiency of this testing suite when we extend our Ansible development to more role, to more resources that get involved inside the collection. So now the sky is the limit and I can't wait to hear you, your success story with Ansible Creator and all these amazing resources. Yay!